Welcome back. The feud between President Trump and Senators Bob Corker and Jeff Flake heating up as the White House fires back at their criticisms ahead of a critical week on Capitol Hill this week. Will this war of words be a problem for the party on matters like tax reform? Joining me now to discuss that, a former Arkansas governor, Mike Huckabee, also a Fox News contributor. Governor, it's always a pleasure. Good to see you. Good morning, Look, Maria. We know how here. important this tax reform plan is. Uh, Kevin Brady will come out with a plan on Wednesday. We know how important the agenda is to the American people, and yet these fights between the president and these senators, aren't they dancing on or, or, or walking on eggshells in terms of impacting the way they vote? I have no idea why Bob Corker and, you know, what in the world Jeff Flake have to be thinking when they go after Donald Trump in the midst of this discussion of, of tax reform. Exactly. They may not like him. That's their prerogative. But my gosh, Maria, it's time to do something for the American people. And they're acting very selfishly. They're acting very petulantly. And they need to grow up and quit getting in it with Donald Trump. They need to know he's always going to hit back harder than they have the capacity to hit and do something, earn their job, their, their paychecks, and move on. Yeah. That's as simple as I can put it. I can totally understand what you're saying, but at the end of the day, this is about getting his agenda executed. And if he loses votes yes. because of personal matters, look, we know what happened with John McCain. Senator McCain blew up the health care bill be because there's a personal fight going on. Uh, I mean, I asked the president this when I sat down with him a week ago uh, when we were at the White House, and I asked him how important it is to have better relations with these senators. Watch this, Governor. I've got to get your reaction to what he said. Even your supporters say, you know, he's got fantastic policies. We want to see this through. But the bickering and the feuding actually gets in the way. So obviously the feuding with Senator Corker, I think there's a personal thing going on between you and, and Senator McCain. Do you worry that this bickering and feuding gets in the way of your agenda? No. And sometimes it helps, to be honest with you. So we'll see what happens in the end. But I think actually sometimes it helps. Sometimes it gets people to do what they're supposed to be doing. Bottom line here, Governor, are they going to need Democrats to vote yes on this tax bill? Do they have the votes? Well, I think they do because I cannot imagine that a Republican would go uh, and even claim to be a Republican and then vote against a tax cut uh, for all of the people who will benefit, including the people who need jobs, the people who need a better job, who need a better wage, all of whom will benefit from the tax plan. So, you know, at the end of the day, what are they thinking when they do this? But, you know, here's what I wonder. Why is it that some of these Republicans are so anxious to get a tongue bath from Charles Schumer and the national media, which is what they get if they are willing to go criticize President Trump? Why aren't they more interested in doing what their constituents at home want? And look at the numbers. Corker and Flake went to the toilet with their approval ratings in their home states once they decided that they were going to spend their time attacking the president rather than solving the problems of their citizens in their home states. Yeah. Well, let, let me switch gears, ask you about what's going on with the Robert Mueller investigation, Governor, because tomorrow we may very well get the first indictment. What are you expecting to see? I mean, you saw the soundbite earlier or the clip from the Wall Street Journal that's basically saying, look, Mueller is way too conflicted with his relationships within the FBI having run it. Uh, he needs to step down. Down, particularly since we've been following this witch hunt of an investigation looking for collusion with the Trump administration that doesn't exist and all the other collusion is right in front of our noses with the Democrats. Well, I think it's easier to find Bigfoot and Amelia Earhart than it is to find collusion between the Russians and Donald Trump. Uh, the fact is, what they really need to be looking at is the $972,000 that Obama for America paid the Perkins Cole law firm, why Hillary Clinton paid them $5.6 million in 2016, that same law firm who in turn funded the Fusion GPS research uh, on the dossier that turned out to be total fabrication. Uh, there, there's some smoke, but it's, it's not in the camp of, uh, uh, of the Trumps. It's in the camp of the DNC and the Hillary campaign. If Mueller doesn't go after that, then I think that he shows that all those people he hired who were Hillary donors were in fact there as shills for the Democrats in trying to protect her rather than protect America. One important point, Maria, that I feel like we've got to focus on. People have said, particularly among Democrats and, and a lot of the media people, but then I repeat myself, well, Hillary's not elected, so it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter for this simple reason. This is not about who won the election. 
This is about who broke the law and broke faith That's right. with the American people. You know, I have a question, actually. I mean, this whole dossier, I, I'm glad you brought up this dossier, because I want to know what evidence came from the dossier, which now we know is a completely fabricated piece of nothing. What, did, the, did the idea to wiretap Trump Tower come from anything from the dossier, which now we know was fabricated? This is an important point. Well, th yeah, th there isn't anything that's come from it. I mean, it's proven to be no, but a bigger piece approval. of fiction than they the entire approval. Harry Potter series. But they got approval to wiretap Trump Tower. Based on what? The dossier? That's a good question that we need an answer to. And if they did, then where in the Obama administration was the push to do the wiretap, and, and let's be clear about a wiretap, we're not talking about just tapping a phone, but listening in and having surveillance that could be in many, many different forms. But why was that done, to whom it was done, who had a look at it, and how high up did both the approval go and the surveillance actually end up? Those are important questions. And then, again, forget the politics of it. This is important because any time an American's liberties their civil liberties are trampled upon by a federal government who can do pretty much anything they want to do. All of our liberties are at stake, and we better never forget that. Yeah, it's a great point. Governor Huckabee, it's good to see you as always. Thanks so much. Thank you, Maria. We'll see you soon.